Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Today it's Tuesday. I'm on my way to work. I'm on Talbot Road as you can see. We've just seen the new hotel going up on the old Wilco site. There's Sainsbury's. There's the Talbot Square Christmas tree. Well, the Sainsbury's end of Talbot Square Christmas tree. I'm sure there'll be another one on the main part of the square and I am going to have to hustle along Talbot Road and get to work quick and if you've seen my previous video I have just had a ride on the Starflyer on the promenade and oh my gosh I was literally terrified I saw, I want to say I enjoyed it. I think I got a little bit of like a high from the adrenaline rush, but for the most part, I don't think I did enjoy it. It's that weird feeling. Like when you go to the movies and you watch a horror film and it's absolutely terrifying and you're screaming your face off and you want to go home. It's like, am I enjoying this or am I actually scared to the point where I'm not enjoying it? And I'm still trying to work that one out. I really am. So yeah, I've been on the Starflyer. My plan was to go on twice. I wanted to ride it in the daytime, which I've just done. And I also wanted to ride it of an evening. So I can show you how it looks with the illuminations on. I'm just gonna show you Sweet Pass North Station. That's a walk past. Yeah, I wanted to show you the ride in the evening when all the lights were on I thought that looked beautiful and I still do want to do that but I'm going to be honest here I'll have to work up the courage to do it because man that was scary at least to me it was but anyway my feet are on the ground now and we're walking to work I feel like I've not walked and talked and filmed down Talbot Road for a while I've been always taking like the promenade route or different routes but I've just been in Sainsbury so I was looking in there to see if they had any of my favourite little coffee sachets, the cinnamon bun ones and they appeared to have stopped doing them. We did do them at Morrison's but the last two times I've been in Morrison's they haven't had any and it is quite a hike down to Morrison's for me. And the, yeah, the last two times I've walked down there, they haven't had any. I do enjoy the topping up latte ones, but they didn't even have any of those in Stainsbury's either. They just had the caramel ones, which I'm really not a fan of. I mean, I don't hate them, but I'm just kind of, yeah, I'm kind of indifferent. So yeah, I've got no coffee sachets. So if you own a violin, better still if you own a tiny violin, Please play me a tiny little sad tune because that's how I feel right now. I feel like playing a sad tune on the world's smallest violin. But yeah, been on the star player. That about trump everything else I've done today so far. The view is amazing, but I think I was too scared to enjoy it properly. I don't know, if I ride it again, I'll know what to expect, so I think I'll be a little less terrified. Plus it was raining when I was up there and I was sat in the car on my own so the car was rocking. Somebody did tell me that in the comments of one of the videos because somebody else made a video on the ride and I made this, I put a comment on it saying oh wow great video I really want to go in it myself and this person had replied yeah if you're in the car by yourself it tends to rock a bit more backwards and forwards. Yeah, so that was scary. But now I know what it's like, I hope to be able to brave the ride in the evening and show you the light. There's nobody on the skating rink as I walk past. And yet it was raining as I went past, so maybe they don't let people on in the rain or maybe it only opens in the afternoon, I don't know. But hopefully, and I say this every week and I never do it, but tonight I 
I really, really do want to do it. If I'm not too tired, I really do want to walk home. Because I want to do an illuminations walk and I want to do the walk. I want to film the whole lights like I did last year, but I'm not going to be able to do a full walk from Bispin to Stargate in one go because that'll be just too late and too much so I have a plan what I'm going to do some, get an ambulance or a police car going past I'll just wait till that it's a paramedic then I'll just wait till that goes past before I talk to you again there we go so what my plan is if I do get to film tonight, I am working in Bispen. So if I nip up to the prom near Bispen, I can walk south and do a video from Bispen to the tower. And next time I'm at Morrison's, if I walk up Scrayesgate Lane and get onto the from there at Stargate, I'll do my second lights video from Stargate to the tower. So both videos will start from either end and meet in the middle. So yeah, that could be a good plan for getting the whole of the Loomis on a video. So yeah, if it's not raining tonight when I finish work or it's not absolutely freezing, I will make the effort and walk home because the last few weeks I've really really wanted to do it I've been offered a lift home and I've been like do you know what I'm tired out I'm just gonna take the lift and I've gotten home and I've thought oh you should have walked you could be home by now you should have walked and made a video so that is what I plan on doing tonight I plan on walking home and making a video but anyway, aside from that, what have you guys been doing all week? Anything interesting? Because I definitely haven't. I've had a couple of hospital visits, not for me, for my family member. And treatment's going as well as can be expected under the circumstances. So at least it's working to a point. That's good. Apart from that, I've just been reading. Nothing else, just reading books. When I was younger, especially before my kids were born, I used to pretty much read all the time. In fact, in my late teens, early twenties, I felt like I couldn't exist if I wasn't, didn't have a book on the go at a certain point. I always had to be somewhere in a novel and I never read like these highbrow novels I just used to read like when I was younger I was a fan of Stephen King and I used to like Richard Lehman, Dean R. Coombs and all like the horror writers and as I've gotten older sometimes I like slightly more wholesome novels I've veered away from horror really now but yeah I've never been a fan of any thing like Shakespeare I once said that I'd gone on a course a, te a teaching assistant course many many years ago at school and all the people were all there and they were all talking about their universities and how smart they all were and they all we were in like this massive big room just having a little get to know each other buffet before the course started and somebody mentioned studying Shakespeare at college and uni and somebody else was like, was like oh yes I did the same thing and what do you think of the differences between such and such a thing and such and such a thing and I remember I must have just rolled my eyes in my head involuntarily because one of these folks went oh so you're not a fan of Shakespeare then you're not an admirer and I said absolutely not I just find him like immeasurably dull and they all looked at me like I just spat in the lemonade or something 
like I said something so terrible and I had to really bite my lip not to laugh but yeah never been a fan of Shakespeare I love books but just not that kind of books but you know each to their own if you love like all the Shakespeare and stuff like that then cool you know you enjoy what you enjoy I used to enjoy the children's classics when I was a kid The Secret Garden was my favourite book when I was little and I still love that book today and I loved books like Oliver Twist and Heidi and books like that but I've never read anything like War and Peace or what have you You know, books are meant to be enjoyed by everybody, so you're all entitled to like whatever you like. And look, the weather's really calm now and it's stopped raining. I wish it had stopped raining when I was on the Starflyer. My hands were freezing. I was gripping hold of that metal bar like my life depended on it. And if anything would have come loose, my grip would have failed in about three seconds because, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I still think I may go on it again when the lights are on. But we'll see. We shall see, for sure. Well, anyway, everybody, I am going to end this video now. I hope you enjoyed it, despite it being nowhere near as exciting as a star flyer. But well, thanks for watching anyway. And yeah, I shall see you all very soon in the next video. Goodbye.